What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video. Coming at you with a video talking about the must-have best in slot gear and tools that you should get. Some of these may take a bit longer than others, but they really do change your playstyle and builds. When I'm usually streaming, I do get a lot of questions like, hey, what's the most important mod that I should get? What's the best Warframe I should get? Like, what is the best, best, best? I will tell you something that will really blow your mind. There is no best Warframe. Literally use whatever you want. But if you're doing specific content, there are frames that are just better than others. For example, if you were doing survival and you really want to turn off your brain, well, you got Revenant. He just doesn't die. But that doesn't mean you can't use Use any other Warframe, you can. Some Warframes just have to use a specific loadout. Some have to rely on a crutch like spamming Vazarin, invulnerability, <laughs> in arrows. But that doesn't mean you can't do it. Or what is the best weapon in the game? There isn't anything like that. There are really good weapons, and then there are amazing weapons, and then there's just weapons you shouldn't even bother looking at. But you do need to level them up for mastery rank XP. And there are just some weapons that are so obnoxious to farm, but serve no purpose except giving you mastery rank xp it is what it is before i get into the other things in terms of login rewards on what you should get this is a question that i get a lot i just hit this uh, milestone what weapon should i pick what mod should i pick back in the days you would get the straight out answer oh definitely go for the Zenistar. it's that busted but after the changes to melee and everything else uh the Zenistar is just the biggest dog doo-doo weapon in the game right now like it is one of the worst weapons in the game can it be used as a stat stick well yes absolutely so if you do get the chance of picking out your login reward weapon definitely go for the zenith instead now the reason reason this is available for me because I've already collected these login rewards. This is here if I want an extra- me, Hunter. I'm trying to talk. This is here for those who want an extra copy or they accidentally deleted their item. So uh, you can purchase an extra copy. So definitely the Zenith, Sigma and Tantus are the two best login reward weapons. The other ones are just fodder, actual fodder. The Zima is for some copium copium build. So don't have to worry about it. All right, now that I've talked about the login reward weapons, there's another question people usually ask, especially when they get to that milestone, which login reward mod should I get? And the answer is very simple. Number one thing you should go for, Prime Shred. After that, Prime Surefooted. Why? Prime Shred is a very unique mod. For example, taking a look at this build, it gives you fire rate and 2.2 meters of punch through. That's actually a DPS increase and makes single target weapons better. Currently, single target weapons weapons suffer a lot because they are single target. Punch through allows you to hit more than one target and on top of that it gives you free fire rates. Basically it's a massive boon to a lot of single target weapons. This mod is definitely a number one priority when it comes to a login reward mod and after that you're definitely going to be grabbing prime surefooted on day 400. Why is this mod so good? Because as it says right there chance to resist knockdown but not only that it's also 100% chance to resist stagger. So, for example, if you're fighting against a lot of Eximus units, a lot of enemies that will knock you down, shooting the Kuva, Zar, and Brahma at your feet, yeah, you can you, you can actually resist that. Prime Shred and Prime Surefooted. And now you may be wondering, oh, why not Prime Vigor? Prime Vigor is, again, pretty useless. For survivability options, you'd never need this. This mod only works on two Warframes, Hildren and Inaros. But Inaros can only benefit from one part of this mod. Yeah, you, you tell me how useful this mod is. It's, it's not. And and when it comes to Prime Fury, the thing is, attack speed is quite broad. You have a lot of attack speed boons. You can even have an ability that gives you attack speed. Harrow's second ability, Volt second ability, Wisp Mote, Valkyr's Warcry, which is also a helmet ability. So yeah, I can go on. On top of that, there are Arcanes that can give you attack speed. Arcane Strike. You have Berserker's Fury. This gives you a lot more attack speed than Prime Fury. You do have to get a kill first. This is better used in survival missions or any mission that has no downtime. You have Quickening. Quickening gives you attack speed and chance to gain combo, which is pretty damn good. You do have Gladiator Vice. Yes, it's a smaller attack speed increase, but it also gives you crit chance, which is another great boost. So, is Fury that game changing? No, it's not. It's not. It's absolutely not. It's 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 good to have, but it's not a must have. And if you're just a fairly new player and you just finished your sacrifice quest, the Excalibur Umber quest, you'll be rewarded with five umbral mods 
These are the only Umbral mods in the game currently because they came with Excalibur Umbra. Now, there are two mods that you should really focus on with these Umbral mods, and you should totally invest in Umbral Intensify because this is just a better version of Intensify and is the only one that is different from its regular counterpart. Taking a look at Vitality and Umbral Fiber, it says 440 health. You click on Vitality, it's 440 health. Fiber, 110% armor, 110% armor. These don't change at all. They only change when you combine it with another Umbral mod. The only one that's different and better is Umbral Intensify. It gives you that 44% power strength compared to its normal counterpart, which only gives you 30%. Definitely invest in the Umbral Intensify intensify mod. Health and armor are useless because in later stages of the game, health and armor don't help you survive. This may sound a bit shocking for some uh, newer players who don't know too much about the game. Funny enough, health and armor are the only things that actually are a wasted mod on your build because they do not help you survive in later stages of the game. If you want to know more about survivability in detail, please do check out my survivability video. It goes into all different types of ways for you to survive without relying on crutches like the health and armor mods. The second one that you should actually look at is Sacrificial Steel. This is very good for stat stick builds, very good for heavy attack builds. That can allow you to do even more damage. Once you complete your star chart, you will unlock two major things. Arbitrations and Steel Path. Arbitrations will slowly start to test your game sense and survivability. But if you die, you, you, you die. You'd have to wait for your allies to res you. You can't self-res. Now, during this game mode, you're able to farm these things called Vitus Essence. Vitus Essence will allow you to purchase unique mods and other useful things. But when it comes to these mods, they actually change your gameplay, especially when it comes to gun modding and even Warframe survivability. Let's start off with the easier one, Warframe Survivability. One of the best mods to use, especially in later stages of the game, is Rolling Guard. There are people who don't like this mod, thinking it's very stupid, because all it does is gives you invulnerability. It does more than that, especially when it comes to surviving with shield gating. You dodge roll, you're immune to all sorts of damage for three seconds, and cleanses you of any status effects currently affecting you. Yes, it does have, give you a seven second cooldown, but during that three seconds of vulnerability, you can use something to replenish your shields. For those who don't know, shield gating will prevent damage going straight to your health if your shields break. Now, if those shields are refilled again, you will get that damage prevention once again. This is a continuous cycle of iframes and damage negation, which is way better than just standing there and trying to tank all that damage, which will get you killed, especially past level 400. Now, before we go into the weapon section, there are other two mods, prime mods, that are like a game changer for all Warframe builds. That is Prime Continuity and Prime Flow. Prime Continuity gives you 55% ability duration because with this mod, equipped with the Fleeting Expertise, will still keep you above 100% duration. Fleeting Expertise gives you, so if you were to mod, if you were to mod for Fleeting Expertise, which is a, an efficiency mod, a corrupted efficiency mod that grants you efficiency but reduces your duration. Duration. Usually people will run a max rank for specific builds that need negative duration or run an off rank build for a balance min max build where they want efficiency, but they also want to keep some duration. So if you combine prime continuity with fleeting expertise, you will still be above the 100% duration mark. Prime flow just gives you a larger energy pool so you can spam more abilities. Even if you're running a negative efficiency build, you still have a large energy pool pull from. For example, you have 45% efficiency. This first ability usually costs 25, but with Blind Rage, 38. But you can cast that ability as many times as you want, thanks to that large energy pool. People who usually do arbitrations and farm Vitus Essence, they want to know what is the best mod to get. As I told you, Rolling Guard, amazing mod to get. You do get this also as a loot reward from doing arbitrations, so you don't necessarily have to buy it. But there are mods that you can only get with Vitus Essence, and those are the Galvanized mods. Think of Galvanized mods as unique 
versions of your existing mods that add on to what they already do and give them even more utility. For example, the regular savvy mod just gives you status chance, but the galvanized mod gives you status chance and condition overload. More status effects on a target, you deal more damage to them. But now, what is the most important mod to get out of all of these galvanized mods? Number one thing you should focus on when you're getting galvanized mods are the multi-shot mods. Now, why the multi-shot mods? Because they can stack up, giving you even more pellets. And for weapons that have multi-pellet count, it greatly increases their DPS output. So yes, Galvanize Hell, Galvanize Diffusion, and Galvanize Chamber are your priority when it comes to the Galvanize mods. And once you're done getting those three, you, you can grab the other ones. No problem. So once you're done with arbitrations, you got some decent mods. Now it's time to go to Steel Path. Steel Path is pretty much the star chart, but with higher level enemies. And is it game changing? Absolutely not. However, it allows you to farm for Arcanes and Steel Essence, which will have you unlock Arcane slots on your guns. If you're new, you will see a little empty slot right here. And you will be wondering, what is this Arcane slot? How do I get it? How does it work? Well, get to Steel Path, start doing your Steel Essence farm and grinding and unlock the slot. Now, how do you unlock the slot? Well, come over here to Teshin, this big man right here. This is absolutely useless, so don't worry about that. Grab these two arcane adapters. This one's for your primary, this one's for your secondary. It costs 15 Steel Essence. You get Steel Essence by just doing Steel Path missions and killing Acolytes. If it's your first time doing the Star Chart Steel Path node, you will just be rewarded with Steel Essence. So it's fairly easy to stock up on a lot of steel essence. These arcanes are pretty much base damage multipliers with a little bit of utility. What are What is a base damage multiplier? Serration, heavy caliber, they boost your base damage. As you may be wondering, why don't I have any base damage here? Well, well, because you don't need it if you're using the arcanes. You have deadhead, you have merciless, and you have dexterity. These all give you different ways to get your base damage without having to mod for it. For example, deadhead, get a headshot kill and you get base damage easy as that stacks up to 360 percent all of them do that's pretty much like combining serration and heavy caliber with 30 percent extra added onto them it's awesome right hell yeah it is okay so when it comes to pet and companions what is the best one to get well unfortunately there's not much of a choice do you want a pet that can last long and not die and give you free viral procs get the panzer Vulpophila. The best in slot things that you should have are definitely a Smita Kavat because it has the charm mod, which allows you to get more credits and more resources when it actually procs. And on top of that, it also gives you more affinity gain. So Smita Kavat and a Panzer Vulpophila are the two best in slot companions in the game. Do you need anything else after this? No, 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 you don't. But as a new player, definitely grab yourself a Helios to help you scan or a death cube if you're suffering from energy income. But if you want to farm, definitely go grab the Smita Kavat. And I know some of you might be asking about what focus school should I go for? As a new player, definitely go for Zenric. Definitely, it's, it's it's the best thing you should get and definitely level it up and unbind the passive waybounds. But since focus is very in-depth and complicated, I will save it for a focus video because focus is going to be changing along with the everything operator. So stay tuned for that when it releases. But for now, that has been it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you've learned and enjoyed something from this video, please feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.